What's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of Out of the Box that's shaped like a bowl. My name is Sharon, this is Anisha, and we have a bowl full of health, wellness, and vitality conversation topics that we are going to pick at random and have a conversation completely unscripted. Let's begin. Please be good. <laughs> Building a social circle. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. This will be a short one. <laughs> I'm glad we're, we picked things to talk about that I'm an authority on. <laughs> Welcome to the circle. <laughs> well, I don't know. What's your favorite strategy for talking to me? <laughs> My trick is I text Anisia and then I wait because then she's going to answer back within five minutes no matter what time of day because she doesn't <laughs> sleep either. <laughs> hey Anisia, what are you doing? I'm sitting next to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Done. Maybe oh, we should start <laughs> though with deconstructing your social circle because we're both better at that. Experts at that one. <laughs> but... Two years ago, yes, we both had social circles. Yes. Was your social circle healthy? No. <laughs> what would make a, so a healthy for you social circle? What do you look for? We've talked about this in some of the other videos, but what would you look for in a social circle? And maybe we've had this conversation too about like an inner circle and the next circle mm -hmm. and the next circle out. What are the benefits of having that kind of laid out? And what do you think about at each level? Interesting. Do we want to handle it that direction? Or we could also... Another... So, not no. But another... <laughs> <laughs> I hear not no, not no. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> not no. Counter, counter offer. Would it be an interesting... I think it might be a far more interesting conversation to talk about reconstructing a social circle. Yeah. Because everyone's had social circles largely bombed over yeah. this last year that's true so I, I also am not trying to just talk about the past i don't really want to just say here's all the things that were wrong with my friends because oh yeah that's a, not what i meant it wasn't necessarily a healthy social circle but i also that's not the emphasis right for me it was always just about me it was never about anybody else yeah so i changed i moved social circles for me because of things that will probably come out in this conversation but it might be more interesting to say okay We've successfully whittled our social circle down to cynical TV. <laughs> <laughs> family's now family, so I don't get to count that as social circle anymore. But from this point, assuming that we don't just decide to stay hermits and maybe get a third or fourth friend, we'll see. What would be the criteria <laughs> for how we go about doing that? And because I think that would be a good conversation for people. We've talked about putting together a training crew. We've talked yeah. about being a leader in your family and in your social circles. What about curating a social circle from a place of leadership in your own life? Yeah, I think the important thing to start with there is defy. Um, core no. values. <laughs> core values. What, what is important to you? What do you want in your life? And who is ahead of where you want to go? So um, when I met you, bringing you into my social circle wasn't part of the, it wasn't yeah, like a plan. It was just, he's, he has something I don't. He has a skill set and an expertise I don't. And I was paying him as my rent a friend. Glad we're so over so, that one. I might <laughs> never get over that. Um, <laughs> it was a big trigger. But, yeah, well, so is yeah. being a social prostitute, and all the friends go away once you stop doing the money exchange. <laughs> I Love. thought you loved me. You were the whore the whole time. <laughs> I was the stripper falling in love with the client <laughs> instead of the other way around. <laughs> she made me feel so special. Like, they made me feel so special while they were paying me. <laughs> now that the money stopped, I feel dirty. <laughs> anyway. Wow. But... We became friends over time, finding that we agreed on a lot of...